The family of South Australian jockey Simone Montgomery, who died after a race fall, is making sure her legacy lives on. They plan to cycle from Streaky Bay to Darwin in the hope of raising money for others affected by similar tragedies. It's a bittersweet moment, the father of fallen jockey Simone Montgomery presenting the trophy for the race which bears her name. I think she'd be proud. Simone was just 26 when she was killed in a horrific accident on the track in 2013. The horse she was riding was leading with 180 metres to go when it was spooked, throwing her from the saddle. Her tragic passing coming as a shock to the racing community, which quickly rallied around the grieving family. We lost Simone in 2013 in Darwin and um, we got a lot of support from uh, the National Jockeys Trust, especially Coda, Simone's daughter. They were there straight away after the accident for us to offer us support and help. Today's race meeting, a chance to give back. The family launching their latest fundraiser, Cycling for Simone, a charity ride from the place where she took her first breath, Streaky Bay, to Darwin, the place where she had her last. She was uh, 26 years of age, so We've decided to uh, ride, take 26 days to get there, uh, 24 days riding and two days break. The aim is to raise $200,000 for the National Jockey Trust and the legwork has already started. It's all, you know, for a great cause so, um, and a challenge for everyone, so it'll, it'll be great. This is a terrific thing for Simone, but obviously because the National Jockeys Trust has helped me after my fall as well, so it's a bit of a double header and why I wanted to get involved. Simone's favourite colour was purple, the same colour theme for today's fundraiser and the same colour that riders will wear when they undertake the 3,010 kilometre journey in July. A legacy that will continue beyond the finish line. She'd be proud of us all, you know, and even today, you know, more for Bill, she'd be very proud. Jessica Stanley, Nine News.